I was he, impressed he, by his just, trousers, actually. But just look at the... It's a very, very good, um, good look. He's joining us, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Cool. Mm. Well, can you describe... <laughs> uh, could you describe Morton's uh, style? Well, yeah. I mean, I like the brogues. I've always liked that particular um, yeah. type of shoe. Mm -hmm. um, very good in the country. Mm. But the trousers are really fascinating. I've never seen any quite like this. I use with, them as plus with, four. Which have a kind of... Um, I see it's like a plus four, but right down yeah. to the ground. Very, very good. I got it doubled. Is this your invention? It is, yeah. It's my idea. So you're good for cycling? I got my... Um, Pockets on Pockets. the slant. Yeah, on the You see, slant. men's clothing is all about details, and this yeah. is a very good example of how you can be mm -hmm. creative with the details. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Besides working as a driver on this show, uh, Morton is a, a poet, hmm. a quite successful... Uh, I can tell by the bow tie. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. It's a very poetic tie. Could you say more <laughs> about that? you got a metaphor... I don't know. I think you've got to be quite brave to wear a bow tie. Oh. For, so very few people do now. Oh. And uh, when, you, when you see that, you think, hmm, here is somebody who's thinking about his appearance. <laughs> but not in a bad way, you know, it's good. I like, I like that tie, because <coughs> it's got a good flop to it. It's yeah. not too stiff, you know. It's... I keep it inside my uh, yeah, yeah. cuffs. Yeah, yeah. But, but you just released this uh, Dylan yeah. uh, cover album. Mm. Actually, one of uh, Morton's... Uh, um, uh, good strength is that he can uh, uh, tell, hesitate, uh, what, uh, recitate uh, Dylan Re Thomas. Recite, recite. Recite, recite. recite. Sorry, uh, Dylan Thomas. There's a language uh, barrier. No. Recite, <laughs> recite Dylan Thomas, uh -huh. who uh, Bob Dylan was named after, wasn't of he? Of course, yeah. yeah. Or he named himself after, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Could you oh, just do can, a... Oh, uh, yeah. Give us a I can, uh, piece of... Uh, I can one of the... Actually, it's, uh, it's broadcasted in the 50s mm. wh when he was travelling in America, mm. going on his tours. Apparently, he, his, mm. um, his public speaking was very, very strong, very powerful. Very powerful. Yeah, yeah. like Charles Dickens, you know, before him. Yeah. Mm. So I got it on uh, broadcast, mm. but um, I learned it... Um, without um, a sort of um, imitated it. So yeah. I can tell one of the parrot last... Parrot fashion, we say. Parrot yeah. fashion, yeah. yeah. The lamentable ones. One of his, the, his latest poems. Mm -hmm. One of the, uh, the last... The last ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of them is not finished, but mm -hmm. the finished one, it's called Lament. Lament. Uh, lament in English. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should we hear okay. it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say, okay, bear, overbear with me, yeah? Of course. Yeah, yeah. You're an Englishman, I'm, a, I'm not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I was a windy boy and the pit and the black spit of the chapel fold, sighed the old ramrod dying of women, I tiptoed shy in the gooseberry wood. The rude owl cried like a tell-tale tit. I skipped in a blush as the big girls rolled a nine pin down on the donkey's common. And on seesaw Sunday nights, I wooed whoever I would with my wicked eyes. The whole of the moon I could love and leave all the green-leaved little wedding's wives in the coal black bush and let them grieve. When I was a gusty man and a half and the black beast of the beetle's pews sighed the old ramrod dying of bitches. Not a boy and the pit and the wick dipping moon and drunk as a new dropped calf. I whistled all night in the twisted flues. Midwives grew in the midnight ditches and the sizzling beds of the town cried quick. Whenever I dove in the breast-high shawl, wherever I rammed in the clover quilts, whatsoever I did in the cold black night, I left my quivering prints. That's it. There's Great. more to it. It's fantastic. There's more to it? <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Yes, Dylan Thomas.
according to Bob Dylan. And you have a little... Uh, beautifully, beautifully spoken. Mm -hmm. You have a little uh, present from Mr. Ferry. Could you describe uh, the book? I got a present for you, Mr. Ferry. Ah. You recognize this painting? Mm, I yeah, can't. I, I guess mm. it's a Caravaggio, perhaps. Uh -huh. But the motif... Is, is it a Caravaggio? I can't find it. Maybe it's on the back. But the book is by uh, the book Kierkegaard? Is, yeah, the book is by the, the Danish or, uh, philosopher, mm -hmm. Søren Kierkegaard. Yeah. I don't know if you ever read it. No, I've heard of him, I've never oh, read yeah. it. Inside is the uh, seducer's diary. That's recommendable. Yeah. It's very much It's kind of a, a manifest of aesthetics and, and mm. the struggle between uh, aesthetics and, and the ethical... Um, life so mm -hmm. we thought it would be Gosh, good yeah. for you. <laughs> holiday, holiday reading for me <laughs> holiday reading for you it's a one well yes long take movement. my mind off a few things yes. yeah. Yeah. yeah fantastic thank you very much yeah. actually we have a, a tradition of the guest uh, saying good night to the viewers in this uh, in this show yes uh, well now um, you became the host but uh, <laughs> um, but uh, could you could you say it now yeah, could you say good night to the viewers? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you should yeah. do it in uh, this camera. Too. Yeah. And you you got time. Mm, now the party's over. I'm so tired. Mm. Then I see you coming out of nowhere. Um, I've forgotten how it goes after that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> now the party's over. I'm so tired. Then I see you coming out of nowhere. Much communication in emotion without conversation or a notion. Good night. Mm -hmm.